While U.S. presidents live in the White House in South Korea, presidents lived in a blue house. Our Annalisa Burgos takes us inside the historic presidential complex in Seoul and explains its connection to Hawaii. I'm at Changwa Day. It's the Blue House, known locally here. It's served as the presidential home uh, for more than 70 years. It currently doesn't serve as a presidential home because the current president, uh, Yoon, decided to move his administration to another location. Now it's a public museum, uh, gives tours. People can learn more about the history here. So much history actually tied to Hawaii as well. The first president to live here was Singman Rhee, a longtime Hawaii resident and strong ally to the United States. After World War II and Korea was freed from Japanese colonial rule, Rhee and his wife moved to the 62-acre complex in 1948, known as Gyeongmude at the time, and the residence of the Japanese governor general. Rhee brought with him democratic ideals he developed in Hawaii as a leader in Korea's independence movement. So you can see that he's announcing the establishment of the government in the picture there. And he actually typed the diplomatic letters, and that's the type of writer that was used back then by President Rhee Seung-man. Before Japanese rule, the site was home to Korean royalty for hundreds of years and part of the sprawling Gyeongbokgung Palace in the heart of Seoul, which draws millions of visitors each year. In 1960, after the ouster of President Rhee, the site's name was changed to Blue House after the 150,000 blue tiles covering the main building's gabled roof. Not even private tours? Not even private tours. Oh. It, was, it housed the president. He lived in this complex, yeah. so it wasn't open to the public. Since opening to the public in May 2022, the Blue House has fast become a popular destination. We, we were part of an international press tour that took us through an exhibit about past presidents and various rooms on the second floor. I wonder if these walls could talk what it would say, uh, some of the important decisions that were made out of this room. Among the intricate artwork, a hand-painted mural of Korea and ceiling painted with constellations. We also toured the state guest house that hosted foreign dignitaries, as well as the gardens and the separate presidential residence that was built in 1990. So here at Changwa Day, it's actually a huge complex. You can't actually go inside, um, but you can see that uh, this area itself is where they had the kitchen, the bedrooms, but as you can see, strategically speaking, it's against the mountains, it's very secure. But while Bugaksan Mountain provided a natural defense against attack, it couldn't protect Blue House residents from an ill fate. Two presidents were forced out of power, one was assassinated, another impeached, one committed suicide. Nearly all were tied to corruption. Today, the Blue House is free for the public to visit, an effort to show that even the most powerful house in the country can open the door to change. Reporting in Seoul, Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now.